Welcome back everyone, this is Annie and today we're going over my first order from The Bathing Garden. I ordered this back in January and then it was shipped about four weeks later, so I received it sometime in mid-February. Now, I have previously opened the box, I've also removed my label for privacy's sake, and I did already grab the invoice and I also grabbed the large sample bag that had samples for the upcoming order, the circus collection. I wanted to smell those and know if they were items I needed to order some of or not. So the sample bag is actually not in this box. I've already melted through those and I'm going to do a separate video on my um, warm reviews of those. If you've never ordered from the bathing garden, she's extremely generous with her samples. I got a huge bag, bag and there was also a sample of body care in there. It was like a sugar scrub, I believe. Anyways, everything else I have not smelled yet. I haven't opened. I haven't gone through. I just was trying to find out the information for the next offering that she had because I had things in that sample bag. And this is normally how she operates. She puts items in there so you have a chance to smell something before it's offered in the upcoming release. That way you know if you want to order that one or not. And I love how like forward thinking that is. I wish more vendors did that because it would help kind of knowing different scents that were coming out um, if you've never been exposed to them before. Anyways, this particular order is from her Valentine's Day collection and there's a lot of florals in here. For some reason I was really in a rose mood <laughs> when I ordered um, and so there's going to be a lot of rose. I did look up the scent notes and I tried to print them off for some reason my printer is not printing right now so I went and hand wrote them down on the invoice and there are a few that I just could not find the scent notes for but by and large I found them so we should be good to go. Let's dive in. Now, because I already opened this box, it's not as beautiful as what it was when I received it. But there was this kind of spongy material kind of packing it more firmly in here. And then the sticker says love is in the air and all this bubble wrap. Now she wraps everything so beautifully. It's like getting a present and everything in the box is individually wrapped as well. So let's dive in. Um, I don't know what this is. This is huge, okay. This is Cleopatra's Cream Bath. And this is a huge piece of wax. I don't remember ordering this. It comes in this beautiful rose-colored bag, and there's a little key. Yeah, I can smell a lot of florals just opening up the lid to this box. I'm behind on videoing, so this is sad for a little bit. But look at this, this is beautiful. really pretty. Lots of glitter. If you're not a fan of glitter, um, you can knock the glitter off or um, there are some items that are, have less glitter on them, but by and large, this is a vendor that uses a lot of glitter. She put so much thought and effort into the packaging, the design of everything she offers. It's a really beautiful experience. Hmm. Okay. I do believe I got this in a different shape. So I have the scent notes written down. This is Cleopatra's Cream Bath. And the scent notes are butter, cream, milk, golden honey, rosewood, and a hint of musk. But I got this in just a regular clamshell size. So I'm guessing she either upgraded me 
to a bigger size or this is just an extra. Wow. And this looks like it's one of the tarts. Um, it's probably about 12 ounces or so. So the equivalent of three or four clamshells. Yeah, you do get that honey note and the musk and the rosewood in here too. Rosewood is kind of a floral, woodsy, little, like, maybe a pink pepperiness to it. I get some of the butter. It's definitely floral and powdery. So if floral is not your thing, you would not like this. I think it's cool, though, how she took the idea of the famous, you know, milk and honey baths that Cleopatra claimed to do for her skin regimen and came up with a version of that for scent or for wax or fragrance. Thank you very much for the extra. This is beautiful. should move this box aside and so y'all can see you'll see how well it is packed right now let me move this aside all right I moved the box and I'm gonna start diving in and putting things up here and this had a sticker I started removing it um, this is blueberry lemon cake I don't think I ordered this one. Yeah. I definitely get that cake note and lemon. Just a light hint of blueberry. This is a little bit, it's not super strong, but that's okay. Really pretty. I think this is an extra she included. I think she, if you've ordered over $100, or more, she includes an extra t wax tart. So I believe this is a freebie. Here's another one. And it's got this little sticker. It says thank you. So I don't know if this is a sample or an extra. It says peppermint rock candy. I don't think I ordered this one. Ooh, pretty. Lots of glitter and this floral lacy pattern on top. Really pretty. Oh, that smells good. I like peppermint so much and kind of a sucker for anything peppermint, really. Okay. It reminds me of the smell of candy canes, really. A little bit icier peppermint, maybe. That will be great for a bedtime blend. Sorry, this little mat is gonna get glitter all over it. That's okay. Ooh. This next one is Impish Rose. I don't, no, I did order this one. Huh, okay, it says on my receipt that I ordered Impish Rose Wax Tart. I didn't order a clamshell. Okay, so this is just maybe a little bit more. So I guess I did order this one. It's just not a clamshell size. It's this really big flower. Look how big this is. Lots of glitter. I could not find the scent notes for this one. It has a little bit of a soapiness to it. 
almost like ivory soap in rose. It's nice. So far, this is the first item I've actually ordered, y'all. And I haven't, because I don't even have this um, sample bag out here. Like, she was so generous. I had a huge bag that was full of samples, plus these three items that I didn't order. This is Luscious. And I did order this one. I couldn't find the scent notes though. Look at that, that's so cute. Little heart and lips and... If anyone knows what the scent notes is, um, I feel like there's a cherry cherry something. Next up is marshmallow rose jam. I believe I have scent notes for this one, so let me pull those up. This is a bottom layer of pink sugar and the sweetest rose jam, drizzled with white vanilla and fluffy marshmallows. I feel like I actually do get some of the marshmallow and the vanilla in this, which is surprising because Rose is such a powerhouse scent. It kind of blows everything else out. And I definitely get pink sugar. The pink sugar is actually really equal with the rose. This is nice. It kind of cuts that rose down so it's more like a sweet, sweet floral like candy floral. It's nice. I'm making a mess with glitter. I'm so sorry. Let's see. I do believe I actually got two of those. I'll run across it when I come across it, I guess. Next up is Salted Rose. Look at those salt kernels. Oh, this is interesting. Definitely get some salty sea air in here. Let's see if I got the scent notes on this one. Um, sugary rose jam blended with salty tears and sprinkled with pink Himalayan sea salt. I definitely get sea air, salty sea air, driftwood, and then rose jam, which is usually a lush, lush jam, um, rose jam, which is usually a lush dupe. It's got geranium and lemon usually. This is really good actually. Very different from any rose scent that I've tried before. That salty sea air really cuts that overwhelming note that rose can sometimes have. Just this a little bit. There we go. 
This next one is Cinderella Would Be Jealous. So cute. It says Once Upon a Time on the Heart. I do have scent notes for this one. It's almond cakes, mar marzipan, and vanilla icing. This one has a little bit of plastic clamshell smell to me. But I do get that almond note. It's hard to smell through the plastic clamshell smell. Sometimes that happens, usually that plastic clamshell smell just goes away once you melt it so don't let that scare you away it's just something that happens periodically with different scents or um, maybe it's the temperature that it's poured in on there's a variety of other vendors that have that and it's just an issue with clamshells but it does not generally transfer to the wax once you have melted it um i can't really tell much with this one because of the smell though and I'd like to remind y'all, these are just first impressions. I have not melted any of these scents before. So these are just first impressions on the smell, the packaging, how beautiful they look. So a more accurate review will have to be done once things have been melted. This is a scrub. This is a avocado oil scrub and soap parfait. So it's a blend of a scrub and a whipped soap. And it's in the scent Frozen Cookie Buttercream. Look at this, it's got a little um, tree that looks like a sugar cookie tree on top. I'm not gonna open this yet just cause it would make a mess. But you can see it's green and then like a cookie dough color. And the scent notes for this one, oh, I do have this written down somewhere, I think. Yes. So frozen cookie buttercream, and the scent notes are crushed candy canes, Sweet baked cookies and marshmallow buttercream frosting. And this was probably from around Christmas, so it wasn't in this actual release, but I did want to pick up some of the scrubs. I hear that her body care is amazing. I also got a rose hip. Rose Hip Seed Oil Sugar Scrub in Rose Glacé. And the scent notes, so you can see like a little rose bud. Sorry for the reflection, it's just... Let's see. All right, scent notes are rose petals, fresh citrus, and touches of strawberry, vanilla, and geranium. I thought that sounded really good. And I believe this is the last body care item I got. But this is the Rose Glacé Lotion. Make sure <laughs> I'm reading this right. Yes, so the same scent notes in the lotion for this scrub that I got. And here's another package it says, thank you. And this is, come on focus, can I get it to focus? Brown Sugar Cream Rose Bouquet Rose Hip Seed Oil Sugar Scrub. It's got little decorations on top. I don't remember if I got this. I don't think I got this. I think this was another extra that she included. Wow, that's very generous. Thank you. 
Back to our regular programming with the clamshells. This is Lovebird Summer. I could not find any scent notes on this one. Just beautiful though, with the little blue cornflower petals and the bird. Hmm. There's definitely a floral note to this. Maybe some tea rose, some honeysuckle. If anybody knows what the scent notes to this are, please let me know down below. I'm really curious. Candied Peppermint Petals. Look at those little roses that are just nestled down into the wax. And these little snowflakes. Really pretty. I do have the scent notes for this one. It is marshmallow peppermint crystallized over sweet rose petals. I don't know if this is how that super tart scent is. It's like a rose and peppermint one called Pe President Snow. I don't know if this is similar or not, but this smells really good. I've never smelled rose and peppermint together. Really, the peppermint is what's dominating, at least I'm cold. Interesting. Next up is Love Cookie. Wow, I don't even have to read the scent notes. I can smell maple brown sugar in here. Oh, that's interesting. Really good. Okay, where is my scent notes for this? That's two tones. So the scent notes are sweet cream butter cookies, French vanilla, caramelized maple syrup, crystallized sugar, and dusted cinnamon. Definitely get that French vanilla and the maple syrup and the cookie note. I'm also getting a little bit of a plastic clamshell smell, so I'm not really picking up on cinnamon. But looking forward to melting this. I do believe I actually got two of these tarts. Let's see. So far I haven't run across some of these little duplicates. Oh, here we go. Here's the second one of that. Now this was on sale with a code you could put in at the cart and it was 15% off of the Halloween. This one is the Tea Witch. A draught of magic. Isn't that cool? Little gold dusted broom. What looks like tea leaves on top. Oh this smells good. Okay, I don't know what this smells like but Where's my sentence? Um, okay. A milky chai tea blended with the perfect amount of spices and sweet vanilla. Yes. Okay, that is absolutely what this smells like. This might be the best chai tea smell that I've come across in wax. I've tried a few and they usually wind up being too harsh on the spices, but this one actually really smells like chai tea. And I know it's not really called chai tea because chai means tea, but this smells like chai. Delicious. 
I'm going to enjoy that this fall so much. Next up is Guava Berry Gelato. Look at this. Really pretty, like pink. And I think I have the scent notes here. It's guava, raspberry, strawberry, iced into creamy gelato. That's the way it was written. All I'm getting is plastic clamshell on this one. So I really can't tell on that scent, I'm sorry. Next up is seven layer cake. Isn't that pretty? It's got like a whole little wedding cake embedded in there. And I do have scent notes for this one. Okay, where are they? I tried to pick up a mixture, ones that just sounded good to me and ones I heard other people talking about just because I've never ordered from the bathing garden before. I have melted a few things in these stashes in the past, but none of these scents are ones that I've tried previously. So the scent notes on this are mounds of sugared frosting, white cake, and a hint of strawberries. It's really light, but I do get a little bit of this white cake note and strawberry. It smells good. Just hopefully it'll be stronger once it's warmed. And this is the rose glacé that I got the body care and the, well, the lotion and the scrub in. So we can actually smell this one. The scent notes again were rose petals, fresh citrus, and touches of strawberry, vanilla, and geranium. This is definitely the strongest of the rose scents so far. The most like floral forward. I know there's supposed to be strawberry and vanilla in here and citrus. Don't really get those. This reminds me very much of Rose Jam. I do get the geranium in there with the rose petal scent though. Geranium is very similar to Rose. Next up is Salted Lavender. So I got the Salted Rose earlier, and that was really interesting and very different, like that Salty Sea Air note. So where's my scent notes for this one? So far I'm not finding it. Where is this? Here it is. Now, this is supposed to be the owner's favorite lavender. I definitely get that salty sea air and the driftwood note in here with the lavender too. The driftwood is definitely the first thing I get here. The scent notes are lavender with crystallized sea salt hints of soft woods, white musk, and sugary vanilla. And I do get the musk as well. Honestly, the lavender's not very forward in this, but it is there. I just am getting more of the salty sea air and that driftwood and musk. Very different lavender smell, but it's nice. Next up is Love Story, and this is supposed to be Love Story 2022. I could not find any scent notes on this one. Oh, look at that little like, jewelry 
piece in the middle. Come on, focus. It was really pretty. Oh man, what is this? There's like a fruitiness to this. And I recognize it, but I just can't think of the name of it right on the tip of my tongue. And there's a mintiness to this. There's definitely floral as well, but it's almost like experiment in something. A floral and a fruit. Okay, this is gonna bother me. I cannot think of what this fruit is. I recognize it and my mind is just going blank. If y'all know what the scent notes are on this, let me know down below because this is gonna bug me. And this is the other Marshmallow Rose Jam. We'll put that there. And candied peppermint petals. Okay, I did get two of those. Sorry, I'm making a mound of pink and white. Tissue paper here. Firecracker Mint. This is actually from last summer and it was on sale for a 15% end of summer discount. And this is Firecracker Mint, the scent notes, are cool white peppermint cream with cool white peppermint cream with rich white chocolate meringue. That looks very patriotic, like July 4th ish. Oh, yeah, you definitely get that chocolate note in here and the mint. It's not super nose clearing. It is definitely more like that mint chocolatey smell. This is nice. You definitely have to like chocolate to like this one though. But I love the decoration. This may actually be in her current catalog that's coming out because she's, I believe, just releasing the summer one. Okay, so I did get this. So this this whole thing is an extra. Wow. Um, this is Cleopatra's Cream Bath. We already went over the scent. And this is the one I ordered. So wow, thank you very, very much. I'm just blown away with all the samples that I have, folks. I'm kind of regretting opening up this sample bag because Honestly, there's just so much that was sent extra, and I would like y'all to be able to see it. I will definitely post that picture so y'all can kind of see that in addition to the extras that are over here that she sent. All right, and this is a coconut oil sugar scrub in iced peppermint cordial. I do think I got this one. I'm like second guessing everything that I opened. Did I order this or not? Because it's been such a long time since I placed the order and then got around to opening the box. Let's see. Yes, I did order this. Mm, okay, scent notes. This is sweet peppermint blended with cool starlight mint and marshmallow liqueur. I thought that would be really nice especially at those times when you have a headache and you're taking a shower to kind of relax the head. I like using something like mint shower gel, um, scrub or lavender or something like that. I thought that would be really nice. I thought I pulled out all the body care earlier. All right, I am definitely done with the body care. Back to the wax starts. This one is Mrs. Cratchit's, Mrs. Cratchit's Christmas Puddin. This was from her Christmas release. Isn't this adorable? It looks like icing and that like holly leaf 
sprig that's put on top of those English figgy puddings that they have for Christmas, Christmas puddings. And the scent notes, I do have that written down. It is rich cake, plums, raisins, shredded carrots, brown sugar, and cinnamon with vanilla, with vanilla brandy drizzled over the top. I can't read my own handwriting, y'all. There's a lot in here. Oh, this smells good. You definitely get that cinnamon, the brown sugar. It smells like carrot cake, but just amped up. Yum. It's so pretty. It's going to be hard to use. Next up is Forevermore. And the scent notes to this one are summer melons, mandarin, and hints of cherry layered with sweet whipped blueberry. And this was also, I believe... I can't remember if this was something that was on sale for the summer or if this was part of the Valentine's collection. I think it may actually be the Valentine's collection. I'm getting the blueberry and the cherry. But the cherry's okay. I'm not a big cherry lover and I think it's nice in this. I'm not really getting the other notes, but we'll see what it's like once it's warmed. This is lemon curd and rose milk. Sorry, folks. Ah! Okay. Now these are falling into my warming dish that are right there. Put this aside. Okay. Let's look at these scent notes. lemon curd tart lemon curd layered over fresh cut roses blended with rich milk okay yeah you definitely get the lemon curd which is nice because it just kind of needs to be a little bit stronger to cut through the rose but this smells really good the rose is just kind of in the background on cold and really good tart lemon Next up is Juliet. This was also from her Valentine's Day collection. There was a Romeo one I was tempted to get just because it's a pair, you know, Romeo and Juliet. But then I was like, I'm not really interested in the scent notes for Romeo. So I just picked up the Juliet version. And the scent notes for Juliet are... Bubbling champagne, sweet rose jelly, and rich vanilla candy. I definitely get that champagne. It's kind of like a lemon lime fizz. The rose is not too dominant. Also, I'm not really getting vanilla candy, but it's mainly that lemon lime fizz with a little bit of rose. It's nice. Another seven layer cake. Let's see. Another rose glacé. Harley loves Joker. Bright green, vibrant red, lipsticky looking lips. How fun. And the scent notes on this are 
shortbread cookies blended with shredded coconut, cream, and sugar sprinkles. I get a light hint of the shortbread cookie, but I'm mainly getting plastic smell on this one. So I'll have to melt it to see like what the true scent is. All right, this is the last of the smaller regular size clamshells. And this is Fuzzy Navel. I couldn't find the scent notes, but I do remember it is a peach blend. And I thought it was so adorable with like little stem and leaves and this sort of glitter shape in a circle that's supposed to represent the peach. It's definitely a peach scent. It's nice. I think there's a little bit of a cobbler note in here too. Not just straight peach. So looking forward to melting that. I really love peach scents. The last item I ordered, not the least, is one of her jumbo tarts. And I went back and forth and back and forth on which scent to get in a jumbo tart. And I decided on this one. Tea and Rose Petal Pound Cake. Okay. There's some static on this. It's making things jump to the lid. I don't think y'all can see necessarily, but you'll see some of that. It was spooking me at first opening this, but this is huge. Look at that. It's so beautifully decorated. She, of course, offered this also in the regular clamshell size, but it just sounded really good. I think the Rose Petal Pound Cake is probably the Pink Petal Tea Cake scent. And look how big this is. Like, next to my hand. It's huge. So, I did not find the full scent notes for this. I did find the scent notes for Rose Petal Pound Cake, and that is Rose Petals blended with sweet cream and vanilla pound cake. And I'm assuming this is like black tea added with it. This smells so much like pink petal tea. This smells so much like pink petal tea cake from Bath and Body Works, which I love that scent. Oh, that smells so good. And I've heard people say that they cut these in like thirds or halves, depending on how big of a warmer dish. So this should last quite a while. All right, that is everything I ordered. I probably went a little bit overboard, but I'd never ordered from her before. And I don't have a lot of Valentine's themed wax, so I thought it would be really fun. I do really enjoy rose scents and there was just such a variety offered. There was so much more beyond this, folks. If you've never ordered from her and you really like beautiful wax, she is one of the best vendors to order from. Everything is just such beautiful care and thought added into the packaging, the presentation, blending certain things. Um, I'm gonna have so much fun starting to melt these. They probably had enough cure. Um, some of them will probably get more cure because they'll sit around until next Valentine's. But if you've tried any of these or if you have any recommendations of scents I should try from the bathing garden, please comment down below and let me know. And thank you all for watching. So I was just stacking this to kind of make sure that I got everything because it was a large order. And I realized that I ordered two jumbo tarts and I only got one. Um, I did order a jumbo tart in the brown um, sugar cream rose bouquet, but I got a sugar scrub. So I'll just reach out to the owner. I'm sure they'll handle this. I should have ordered my, oh, I should have opened my box sooner, but I just didn't have a chance to go through everything before now and so I just have that one item missing, that's all.